Holly here on 13 tonight. A mother shopping at TJ Maxx for her young son says she felt like she was being followed and then noticed a man taking images under her dress. Uh, just the worst for any woman, right? Police charge that man and say that he admitted to taking inappropriate images of women for months. This is just the first time police say that he's been caught. Our Brooke Taylor is here in the studio after speaking with the most recent alleged victim. Brooke. Yeah, I asked that victim, Haley Chapman, if she wanted to stay anonymous, something that we ask uh, victims in these type of situations, but she said it was so important for her just to show her face and speak out on what happened. She says at first she felt ashamed about it, but she wants other women to feel comfortable and says, especially because there could be some women that may not know this even happened to them. While shopping for her son at the TJ Maxx in League City, Haley Chapman says something felt off as if she was being followed. I decided to move down the aisle and um, after I moved down the aisle, I noticed that he was still following me and he was doing this thing where he would crouch down on his knees like he would look at something on a lower shelf. This time I whipped my head around really quickly and I noticed that he had his phone underneath my dress. Chapman confronted the man. And I said, what do you think you're doing? Why is your phone underneath my dress? She says he walked away and drove off, but a stranger who saw what was happening followed him and wrote down his license plates. League City police arrested Eduardo Renteria from Houston in February, charging him with invasive visual recording. He's out on a $15,000 bond and is set to be in court Wednesday. Well, it's the first time he's been charged. Police say he's done this before. According to the affidavit, he told investigators he's been, quote, taking videos of females' intimate areas for the past two months for self-satisfaction. That's the reason why Chapman is sharing what happened. Well, it's very unsettling to know that those women more than likely have no idea that it happened to them. I feel a sense of empowerment that I felt um, a sense of encouragement that I'm able to share my story. It's one of those things that you think it doesn't happen to you and then it happens to you and I just want to shed some light and to be more aware than aware of your surroundings.